Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We've been talking about the deity of Jesus Christ and how important it is for us to understand who he is and how important is it for us to understand the tremendous uh, uh, sacrifice that he made in order to leave the splendor of heaven and become a man and to die on the cross for our sins. It really is important how we view Jesus Christ. If he be not God, then we shouldn't be worshiping him because as we read throughout scriptures, there are times where men tried to uh, worship an angel and an angel came down and, and the angel uh, rebuffs their, their, their worship, telling them that they need to worship God. We know there were times when the disciples, um, when they did a miracle that uh, the, the community wanted to worship him and they rebuffed their their worship because we're only supposed to worship god is that right and we're to worship him and 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 yet over and over again what we see is that jesus received the worship of others and even of those who knew him best it'd be one thing for me two thousand years removed from uh jesus uh, the the his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection, for me to worship him. But can you imagine having lived with him for three and a half years, having taught, uh, heard him speak, seeing the miracles there? Now you you receive uh, worship by those who know you best, and uh, they feel comfortable worshiping you. Um, then then you're really saying something, I think, because they've seen. Uh, you day and night for three and a half years. Throughout throughout the New Testament, we see that Jesus received the worship. We see it in Matthew chapter two, twelve, and they and they worshipped him. The leper in Matthew eight two says, and they he worshipped him. We see in uh, John twenty, uh, verse twenty six or twenty eight. It says. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. We see in uh, 1 Peter 3, 22, Who is gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, uh, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Uh, 2 Peter 1, 17 says, For he received from God the Father honor and glory, and there should be, and there came such a voice to him from excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. As a matter of fact, if we look at the book of Hebrews 1, and we see that it says, And let all the angels of God worship him. All the angels of God worship Jesus. And of the angels, he saith, who maketh angels uh, spirits in his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Hebrews 1, uh, 3 through 8. Over and over again, God the Father calls God the Son, O God, O God. I remember talking to a Jehovah's Witness friend of mine and showing him this verse, showing him how God is speaking about Jesus and how he commands, the Father commands all the angels to worship the Son and how the Father speaks of Jesus as, oh God, and asked him uh, how, I mean, what his interpretation was of this. And this very, uh, he's a good man a man I had great respect for. I really enjoyed my time, uh, friendship with Benny. Uh, he was a Jehovah's Witness, had a lot of respect for him, but he had no answer here because uh, there is no answer for this. You have to change this in order to fit the Jehovah's Witness doctrine. And is Jesus God? Well, certainly uh, uh, the Father declares him to be God. Certainly the wise men declared him to be God, which certainly the leper de declared him to be God. Certainly Thomas declared him to be God. We know that Peter declared him to be God. How about you? Have you declared him to be God? He is God the Son, the Son of God, whom, G whom the Father sent to die on the cross for your sins, to pay your sin debt. 
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by me. There is no other name. The Bible declares there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Only the name of Jesus. Have, are you born again? Have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Why not bow your head and repent of your sins and trust him as your Savior today? This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.